Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review kind of test demo on the silicone sponge. Um, many of you maybe have seen this online. I know I've seen a lot of videos on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter of people talking about how this is the new beauty sponge. So um, I was online the other day and I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm going to grab that and I'll do a video comparing it to the Real Techniques sponge that I use daily. So um, I'm going to do half my face with the silicone sponge and the other half with my Real Techniques makeup sponge and just kind of wear it throughout the day and see if I can tell a difference in the wear. Um, this is the sponge. Um, I got it offline off of Molly Cosmetics. Uh, it was around $9 and I just did like the basic, I think they had like a free shipping option which like didn't come with tracking or anything and um, I just did that and it got here in like 11 days or something. It got here fine. It got here perfectly normal and my address is normally kind of weird for stuff to get here so um, it's definitely a good option to go. I know there's like a lot of different ones out there that you can choose from but I'll try to link the one that I did down below uh, along with my social medias and stuff if you want to follow me. Um, and then if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to try to put out a new video every week, um, just kind of giving you little tips and tricks that I have. Um, and if you have any suggestions, any kind of videos you want to see, um, and just leave a comment down below and I will try my best to do it. So let's go ahead and get to the video. So I'm going to do the left side with the silicone sponge and then the right side with my Real Techniques. Um, beauty sponge um, just to see what the difference between the two are um, so I've already moisturized my face with with pond dry skin um, moisturizer and then I'm gonna go in with Too Faced hangover primer just to give it a little bit more hydration And then um, I'm gonna go in with Sep and Glory's One Heck of a Blot Primer um, to help with sorry there was something in my eye to help with um, reducing the size of your pores. So I just put this in the region so that like my pores are a little bigger just to give it a little bit more of a smoother finish. Okay, so. Um, next I'm going to do my foundation, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation in shade 1.5. So, um, I guess I'll, no, I'll start with the silicone sponge side first and then do the Real Technique side because I know how that one works because that's the one I use all the time. So. Um, I'm just going to put, actually, I think I put a dollop on my hand because that's kind of how I've seen it done online. Um, and then, I don't know which side to use. I guess I'll use this side on it and then let's just go. goes on easily. I'm just like kind of worried about blending. I also forgot that I was doing only half my face. I got too much product. Definitely. For this side. Oh well. It's fine. Oh, I can use it on the other side. Duh. Okay. It's kind of weird because I like don't feel like it's blending it. like it's just moving the product around on my face rather than actually blending it into my skin. Yeah. A lot of patchiness and stuff going on there. Hmm. Please excuse the weird face that I make. I'm putting on my makeup. Okay. Honestly. Let's try. I'll wipe it off a 
on this towel I have down here and then like get off extra um, product that I have on there and then go back in with it and we'll see. I mean it covers really well. Okay. I'm gonna add some concealer. I'm using the um, Instant Age Rewind concealer from Maybelline in the color Fair. I love this stuff. It's really good. Um, a lightweight concealer for me being a college student because I don't try to. I don't like spending that much time on my makeup whenever I'm going to school all day. I just find that it just kind of leaves some patchiness, sort of. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, I use this one about every day, or I use their um, the Real Techniques foundation brush. I really like those brushes, and I've had a beauty blender before, and I liked it, but it was when I was in high school, and I didn't I didn't know you were supposed to clean your brushes weekly and stuff, so I never cleaned my sponge, and it started breaking my face out. Imagine that. Um, so I I liked it a lot, um, but. I bought these, this might be my second pack of these because they come in the two pack that I've had and I really like them and they're, it's sometimes hard to find um, makeup sponges that are as soft as the Beauty Blender, especially for a cheaper price, a lot of times they're like really hard and dense, but these I really like and I find that they're a pretty amazing dupe to the Beauty Blender. Um, and you get two for ten dollars so that's always a positive because I'm always trying to find the best deals that you can get because I am on that college student budget so I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer blend that out I wonder if you can do your powder with a silly sponge because I know you can do it with a regular sponge with this side with the Real Techniques um, sponge and so now I'm going to set my makeup with, I don't care, but anyway, so I'm just going to set my face with this. Um, using um, e.l.f.'s uh, eye primer. This stuff is amazing and it's like I think when I first started using it, like in high school, it was only a dollar, but I think it's gone up to like three dollars now. But I love this stuff, it works great. I um, recommended it to my roommate, she loves it now. And I'm gonna go in with a fluffy, what's it called? A pro blending brush from Sephora, um, it's large number 27 and then I'm gonna be using the naked three palette um, and then I'm just gonna go into my crease with light um, and just kind of work that in first so I really like this look because it um, it kind of brightens up your eyes, but also it's a good look for like every day, going to school, going to work. If you don't want to wear that much, but you like still don't want to just go bare eye, um, I find it's really pretty. So I'll try to say. <laughs> After I went in with light, I went back in with this brown. Matt Brown um, in Nooner. 
sorry. Can you hear that truck? Um, next, I'm going to take... It's a uh, elf brush. It's in... It's in. That makes no sense. It's a smudge brush. It's just like a... You can tell. It's just like a flat, like, tightly packed brush. There's something in my eye. Anyway. And then I'm going to take this uh, loose pigment, pigment, pigment from um, Naked Cosmetics in Sierra Nevada. It's a really pretty shimmery, I don't know, like shimmery color. I don't even know what color that is. It's like a nude shimmer, sort of. And I just like to pack that all over my eyelids just to kind of give some shimmer. It kind of brightens up your eyes a little bit. I do it in the inner corner of my eyes too, a little bit. Um, so, Oh. Then I'm going to tight line my eyes with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve. Um, I do this, I tight line my eyes a lot because rather than do an actual liner because it does like give some depth to your eyes but it, you don't have to do a full liner look. Make sure your eyelashes look fuller and then I do like the bottom. And then uh, I sometimes like to go in with the brush that came with that like comes with the naked palette um, using the smaller end. I like to do take black heart, which is the darkest color in the palette. Um, and kind of do the outside of my eyes with like a little bit of liner out there. Just really lightly do a swipe across there. Just kind of frames them, shapes them up a little bit. sweep it under my under eye just to kind of smudge out that little bit that we did under it. Okay. Um, next, I, I'm not a huge brow person. Like, I don't fill mine in, like, perfectly on the flip eyebrows, but I do fill them in a little bit, and I use um, It Cosmetics Brow Power. I love this thing. Because I do have, like, some bald spots that just, like, I don't know if it's from when I was in high school and I would just go to town with my eyebrows or what. But, um, so I just kind of fill that in a little bit and just make them look a little bit more fuller. But I don't, like, shape them out and carve them out like some people do, which is fine if you do. It's just not my, not my style. the extent of what I would do on a regular daily basis um, and then lastly I am gonna go and add some mascara I use I am using currently the Maybelline lash sensational luscious um, I was before using the last just the regular lash sensational and I kind of like it better than this one but this one's good too it's just a little bit more wet than I like um, when I first got it and we was using it, it was like it got everywhere. But both of them are really good. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then put a few coats of this on. And um, 
like I said, I will update y'all throughout the day on how it will, how, if I can tell a difference between the silicone sponge and the real techniques and just what my overall thoughts on it are and everything like that. Just set my makeup with Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer Water. And then lastly, I'm going to use NYX Liquid Suede and what color is this? Soft Spoken. I love these because they're not super drying um, like ColourPops are, which I love ColourPop too. But, um, they still give you that matte look, but they don't, they're like a suede, like it says. So I really like them a lot. And there you go. So, um, I will talk to y'all later. Um, kind of update you a few hours later. And just check in and see how everything's going. Okay. Bye. End of the night and I um, have been wearing my makeup all day. Um, and for the most part it held up pretty well. Um, except this side. Which was a side that I um, used the silicone sponge on you can kind of see like around in the chin area it's really patchy and then like around my nose but overall it like held up really well um I don't think it's a terrible product um for nine dollars like it's not that bad but um I would definitely like whenever I do use it I'll probably apply the foundation with it but then probably go back in with a regular blending foundation brush just to kind of buff it in in some areas but yeah, so like I said, I'll link the product down below. I would recommend it. I mean, it's not terrible, but I definitely think there are better options out there. But that's it for now. Thanks, guys.